guys to another another episode i am glad that you guys have finally tuned in and yes i know i have been in my head but hey i will get back to my track of course so my ladies here we are all discussing about women since it's women's month so before i get started i'm gonna let the ladies introduce themselves who's starting ladies Lori. <laughs> 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 I'm Laura. Uh, hi, I'm Yure. Hi, I'm Kelly. <laughs> hi, I'm Kelly. All right. Okay. So the first question: What does it mean for you to be a woman? Uh, I can't <laughs> answer questions when, like, when it's related to myself. What does it mean to be? A what does it mean to be a woman? I think being a woman. I think it puts you in a position of vulnerability in society and mm-hmm. you just can't help yourself. As much as we try to empower ourselves and go through these marches, it's more of, I think, attacking the roots of the problem because, mm-hmm. you know, with the marches, we're just attacking the fruit, but we're not really eradicating the mm-hmm. issues at hand. Like, you know, as a woman, there's so many things that you need to think about, like, mm-hmm. What time am I going to leave this place? Am I going to be walking in the dark? What, mm. I, what do I need to wear when I leave? Um, if I wear this, am I going to get catcalled on the street? Is someone going to follow me? Am I going to be a rat? Like, yeah. there's so many things that you need to go through as a woman. Like, I don't know what it is. And then it's also double the load when you're a woman of color. I think. Oh, tell me about like, it. I don't know. It's, <laughs> I don't want to call it a curse, but the world has made it seem like it's a curse as a woman. Mm. You need to think about so many things. You need to think about your hair. It's just so, so intense. I... Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. And then something else. Um, so I did like a workshop and things. So they were discussing the gender roles in um, the organization, like companies. We still lack women. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's a really big issue because, I mean, as you grow, of course, it's it's it becomes a thing of you have to take care of your family and also having to take care of yourself. So you can really see that it's actually a struggle to maintain and balance, you know? Yeah. You can't go to work and, and be moaning or complaining to your boss about, oh, I've got these struggles. It's like being taught that woman has to, like, woman up and just be strong yeah. and deal with it, and that's it, you know? Yeah, and that's also, true. I think being a woman basically means just defying gender roles if you actually want yeah. to get, like, a normal person. Mm-hmm. Because you can be born into a family where they believe you cook, you clean, oh, you yes. take care of the kids, Girl, you do tell this, me you go to school, but you still need to do everything else yeah. on the side. And the same is not expected from um, your brothers or male counterparts in the yeah. household. Yeah. And it's really tense just living your life fighting that battle. Yeah, yeah sure. That's really true. And yeah. I used to fight that like a bad when I was young, I used to fight that battle. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> because I would wash the dishes, I would ask, what about him? Yeah. You are a girl. You can't come. I would yeah. come yeah. myself. Yeah, hey. Wake up in the morning, go sweep the house. Yeah. Why can't my brother wake up and exactly. sweep the house? <laughs> no, because you're a girl. You need to start practicing now. Practicing for <laughs> what? For what? what? <laughs> like, <Right. for> what? <laughs> okay, number two. What do you love about being a woman? <laughs> the clothes are nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also, like, and girls talk. Nice. Having, like, yeah. the girls talk. Yeah. Hairstyles. Yeah. Oh, that's so true. Yeah. Even makeup, you know, sometimes yeah. you can oh, yeah. even hide the stuff that you don't like. Yeah. Yeah. And super long nails. Oh, yeah. And you yeah. find a way to work with it if you want to. Yeah. yeah. And like also the fact that, to adding to um, what Kelly said, um, like having a girl talk, I think that's where we actually become very vulnerable yes. to one another in a sense that we are capable of um, expressing Expressing ourselves emotionally, you know, which Mm -hmm. that really helps because in men that lacks a lot because the moment when a man, uh, how can I say, goes through the most, they go to a dark place. Exactly. And so they find really difficult to communicate. So for us as women, it's very easy. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's definitely one thing that I love about it. And also to add on that, just like being your emotional self. Yes. You can cry. Yes, you can like be angry with everyone, especially. Too. Yeah, you can cry. Uh, like men find it hard to be vulnerable and to cry yeah. and to talk about. Like they always bottle up feelings. Yeah. And we just, yeah. we just let it out. 
Yeah. 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 Like, I think all sorts of things, like the lifestyles that you want to have, yeah. and, you know, even like intimate stuff, you know, problems with your boyfriend and stuff, you know. Yeah. I don't think, <laughs> I, yeah. I, don't think <laughs> I think that's yeah. the best. Yeah. And sometimes even gossiping, as much as it's a bad thing, like. I no, but like that's the juice. I do like a bit of, especially in the hair salons. Oh my gosh, I do love the <gasps> gossip in the hair salons. I find every kind of story at like the hair salons. Yeah. 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 Yo. Okay, next question. What do you hate about being a woman? The Number one, convinced. you always a target, it's like she said. And I feel being like. Definitely. Yeah. And I'm very out, I'm like, I'm a very outgoing person. Mm-hmm. So I go out late if I go out. And then you, there's always and that, that big huge big part of myself that's yeah. like yeah. fearful of what would happen that's if I go out. And it's not supposed to be like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not supposed to be. You always need to make sure that you go out with like a group of people. There's so many things that you need yeah. to think about before you go out. You know, you need to have your accountability buddies. What's yeah. going to happen with this? Like, it's just so scary. Like, it's just. And one thing that really makes me so mad is like men just need to change their ways. Like, it is what it is. It's like you really need to change your ways. Like, I remember when I went out one to my friends. We were in the club and this old man kept on staring at me from like afar and like he was following me. Like he made me feel so uncomfortable. I felt like he was gonna inject me or something or he was gonna spike me. And you know, that's a fear of women yeah. every day. Like that's what we need to constantly think about. Even from what we wear, like you're always so scared, as much as though we're not supposed to think that, you know, what we wear provokes someone to rape us, but that's mm-hmm. how society has made it. We've made it seem like not wear what you want, but at the end of the day, like Men will still look at you, sexually objectify you, mm. can call you. And you know, I remember we had like this argument on Twitter and this guy commented like this girl was wearing like a top and shorts. Mm. I was like, yeah, these type of girls deserve to be raped. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is someone my age saying such nonsense like this. Like the culture isn't leaving men. I don't know why yeah, the culture yeah, isn't leaving them. Like mm. you expect it as we grow older, men would stop being so misogynistic. But they're still being that way. Yeah. It's like, what's wrong with you? I, another thing that I'd say I hate about being a woman is the periods. Guys, <laughs> if you like every single month, like clockwork, it's crazy. And yeah. if you're one of the lucky girls, you live a relatively normal life. You just, you know, get a little, maybe feel a little bit of cramps, but move on with your life. But not every woman is yeah. as lucky. Mm-hmm. And so you go to, you know, this vomiting, <laughs> bloating, you know. The diarrhea, like I'm not trying to be gross, but like that is the yeah. life, <laughs> and it's every month for yeah. no reason. Like it's not even. Yeah. It's really upsetting. It's a really upsetting yeah. thing, and men yeah. don't have even the pants of pants, guys. Like uh, pants, <laughs> tampons, pants, and pants. it's expensive. Why, why do I need yes. to pay for something that I don't ask for? Yes. And the so thing that makes me so mad is that <laughs> condoms. Oh, for free! Next <laughs> is the choice. I don't choose to say, you know, today I'm gonna turn on my ovary clock and have my period. I'm oh, doing it on. <laughs> so why are tampons and pads not free? Yeah. But condoms are free. Right. That says a lot. That's, That's not like the president. Why? 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 Say it all, I'm a pussy. Please tell me. Why? But like speaking on like um the whole um periods or like. Cycle, the cycle that women um, mm-hmm. face um, on a monthly basis. Do you think that we need to educate men? Because I feel like they know so little about it. And the fact that sometimes we're like, oh, are you moody? Is it because it's that day? Oh. And I'm like, hello. <laughs> Go on, I mean, blame everything. You don't want to blame everything. They want to blame everything on credit card. Everything. Yeah. Why are you so emotional today? Exactly. Is it that time of the month? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we like just have to educate them Mm. because it's not just that because as they grow up of course they're gonna want to settle down and you're not gonna have boys only yeah you're gonna have girls and you have to understand you know what's going on so yeah that's very important if you're a single daddy exactly you're supposed to educate your daughter so how are you gonna do it if you don't educate yourself exactly and now question number four has another woman ever made you feel less? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> that, was that, was that was like, I was like, like a reflex. You were supposed to say yes immediately. Yeah, like that was. <laughs> because Share your story because clearly it's yeah. yay because yeah. Yeah. it's. it's Ask boring. the question again so we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it. 
Has another woman ever made you feel less? Yes. She's just so sad. She don't even think about it. She's just so sad. I don't want to. I don't want to. Honestly, no. I do. Okay, I'll share my piece here. I'll share my piece. Today hasn't been a very good day. Like, anyways, um, yes, other women have made me feel less about myself, especially, you know, I expect you know my, I guess my sisters of color to be my sisters, you know, but um. It seems like that's not the case. Mm-hmm. <laughs> today, someone made a very snide comment. Like today, 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 like today, 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 I don't think you were meant to be black. The essence of it was like, I don't think you were meant to be black. You're like a black person. Like you're a white person and a black person. You oh, see, wow. you see To me, to me, I just didn't understand because I don't know if it was meant to come off as a compliment, yeah. but it's not a compliment because it's really. I'm not ashamed of being black. Like yeah. I love who I am, but yeah. why attack me for having? For ha- yeah. you know, having so she's like, saying she's 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 you're not black enough. Yeah, you're not black enough, but like. What list do I need to make to be black? Is my skin color not enough? Like, exactly. I feel like yeah. there's no type to be black. It's just, you yeah. know, I think, I'm not saying people or like some lifestyle choices with white people. With white, like with white so people. So, like, being healthy and exercising, then all of a sudden you're yeah. trying to be yeah. white. Just because or if you don't eat healthy. meat, like, it's been such an issue my whole life. Like, I don't eat, like, I don't enjoy meat. Like, chicken mm. is the only meat that I eat, yeah. but I don't usually eat it. I've always been told, like, what type of black person are you that can't eat meat? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you see, that's the thing. That's the like, stigma mm. of saying all black people we love, love meat. We, we love, love everyone. Meat. Also, another one is like, oh, black people can't dance. I cannot dance for my life. What type of black person are you that can't dance? Don't dance. <laughs> or sing. You're not singing. I'm not going to lie. I'm guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guilty. Okay. But anyways, this girl, yeah, she really made me feel like, you know, I'm not black enough, I don't deserve to be black. Just because I don't, you know, take yeah. off. Yeah, like, I'm not even healthy, it's just like, I just have health issues, so I can't eat certain things. Yeah, like, yeah, I just, I, I was just born this way. And I was just like, okay, cool. Um, and with this uh, question, personally, when I see the way women are today in society, mm-hmm. for example, celebrities and just really high profile people who are worshipped on social mm-hmm. media, it makes me feel like less of a woman because their body types yeah. are oh, not real. Yeah. I know in my mind it's not real. It's all just but surgery. Still feel, yeah, like, still feel but you still feel like enough. you're not enough. Yeah. And you're just like, I want my waist to be thinner. I want to be out of yeah. even though yes. that's not your body type. Mm-hmm. And you start feeling like everyone is worshipping this fake body that you can never have. Mm-hmm. So yeah. are they women and you're just an extra? You're just something <laughs> left over. Yeah. I'm just going to give you guys like a snap of now. Mm-hmm. About this whole story because it's been like a, like I felt this way since I think grade eight let it out. So there. you you know when you when you go through puberty you start getting breakouts and pimples like mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. so guys I have this uh, this happened in grade eight but it's like it's still traumatizing mm-hmm. me kind of if I think about it. One guy came up to me and he was like, "You are pineapple," <gasps> and I was like. What do you mean? And then only after a while, it made me realize because I thought about a pineapple and, and I looked at the pineapple and I was like, oh, like now I get what you're saying. You were referring to my breakout. Yeah. And I still experience breakouts, mm-hmm. especially when it's like that time of the month or supposed yeah. to be that time of the month and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So then you obviously feel when you get pimples, oh, then I'm reminded, oh, you're a pineapple. Yeah. 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 Like I don't think that people realize the what weight exactly. that the words carry. Yeah. And like speaking of grade eight, I remember there was this girl in grade eight. I don't know who the hell she thought she was, <laughs> but she had the nerve. Like, like I used to come early to school, and she used used to come early also. So that was before I left that hostel, and like we mm. used to sit together in the morning because we had like a mutual friend, and like mm-hmm. we wouldn't sit like apart. But mm. like here's the two of us here. Every morning, the girls used to tell me that I look at the game. Oh, <laughs> 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 to my face. I provoked. 
Bro, wow. it's so like aggressive. every day that she would look at me and that she wouldn't believe that I look like, honey, honey. Look at you now. Yeah. Bro, look at you now. Honestly, but like, girl, like, I'm so supposed to do me. What? Yeah. Other. I don't mm. know what it is. Like, even when I was younger, yeah. I used to give so teasing like a bunch of my lips. Yeah. Like, oh, my God, she's so cute. 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 Oh, But for me, honestly, I've always had a problem with men. You see, if I have a problem with a woman, I sort it out face to face and I finish yeah. it. Done and dusted. But as for um, men, yo, in my high school, grade eight. Guys, grade eight. Why is Why grade eight a thing? Grade eight. So basically, because everyone is new and everyone is trying to be cool. Cause yeah. From the school. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> from what this year, it's like a... A certain social standard for themselves. Yeah. Like, oh, it's me. No, it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I've always had big boobs. I still do have big boobs, okay? But I did not expect for some guy to come to me and ask me, why do you have so big boobs? Like, yeah, why are you, why are you like, even looking there in the first place? You didn't even ask. Ask. Lord, no, please give me big boobs. Nothing bothers me. I never like did. Men like, putting themselves in women's business. Okay, now I'm pe- oh. Yo, I was like, it wow. Pardon me. And still today, I'm very insecure because of that one statement, you know. It was like, oh, although no. most men love women with big boobs. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah it, it is what it is. But yeah. because it was planted in your head at such a young age and you were like having big boobs, Yeah, like tiny, tiny ones. ones. So you obviously felt some type of way, and because it's like an experience yeah. that traumatizes you back then, you still go through. You see, I even the thought that you know, once I start working, I'll go and you know, yeah, have your because that's that's how, the problem with that. Like that's why I don't even go join because I know it's gonna go like <laughs> the whole time if I go join. Yeah, that's and other people don't have that problem. Exactly, they don't understand. Guys, your instincts. I'm not gonna lie. Whenever people jog, it's like. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, uh, you know. So at the end of the day, like I made peace with the fact that I've got big boobs and I'm mm. to embrace. Yeah. And quite frankly, like I, mean, I feel like, like as like people, because mm-hmm. some people get teased because they have small boobs. Yeah. So at yeah, the end of the day, you can never really say that. Yeah. Like mm. and this is the ideal. Yeah. Says, because. I feel people just people criticize whatever they yes, like want. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just want something to criticize. Yeah. Wow. I okay. Next question. Do you think there should be another women's march to address yes. gender-based no, violence? Yeah, I always ask for marching now. Not always marching on me. Right. There's something very powerful about being in a movement that's trying to bring about change. I'm like, whatever you are marching for, I'm there, Shane. Yeah. As long as the vision is clear, I'm there. Especially like for gender-based violence, yeah, guys. It has been... I feel like... And people don't listen. And I feel yeah. like now, it's been so magnified. Like, it's so... Yo, I don't know. Like, comparing 50 years ago and now, now it's like... I don't know how
<clears throat> but then again, it's because of social media. Yeah. Someone goes through something and they post it, and mm. then like that way we know about okay, like it's bad, like mm. it's bad, bad. But how many matches are we gonna have? I was just yeah, gonna exactly. ask, why would you want to march again if you know it's not like effective? Exactly. Because what else can we do? What can we do? Yeah, they're yeah. not changing the community. They, 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 they don't want to change. Like ideas, even guys our do. age, the things that they say, the, you know, the things that they do. Yeah. We march, we march. There's so much information of how you should, you're supposed to treat women. Mm. You know, the things that are frowned upon. Everyone knows that you know, raping is bad. You know, touching yeah. a woman without her consent yeah. is bad. They know that it's bad, but they say, you know what? It's bad. I think it's I'm still gonna they do it. Are yeah. Yeah. In that position because mm-hmm. they are not the ones who are going through the most. Yeah. And they're like, well, it doesn't bother me. It's yeah. Okay. But I don't. I think there's a simple solution to do it. You rape, you get your dick cut off. Let's finish it. And that's the You won't even like, hear anything. I, I, also, I feel like the reason why men are so nonchalant about this whole GDV thing is mm. it's because there are no real consequences. Yeah. They're really not afraid of any consequences. Because mm. yeah. the chances are that they're going to get away with it. Mm-hmm. Honestly, mm-hmm. so I think that's why they really not. And most scared. of us as women don't really like report this matter because mm-hmm. we feel ashamed. And they guess like they will guess like, oh yeah. they guess like you know, yeah. I mean, you're gonna feel crazy for feeling violated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they never tell men how to behave. It's always like, exactly. even mm-hmm. when I see it, like if I downscale it and everything, mm-hmm. like if I put it into like African context and you know family issues and stuff, I know. There's certain things I'm not supposed to wear in front of my uncles who are going to provoke them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And if they are not like people for one day. You see, that's, you see, that's, that's why the wow. issue is we're not telling them how they need to behave around us. Mm. We need to change our behavior. Or not oh, yeah. You can't wear this because you know Jeez, this person is coming. Uncle. You need to cover your knees and whatever, whatever. You need to cover this. No, you know, we must live in it because they are men who can't. Uh, uh, yes, I yeah. know. Even when I'm going to like. Uh-uh. Yeah, even when I go to my grandmother's place, I don't know what the English word is. We call it a Zambia. Like a, it's like a wrap. Yeah, that you oh, need to wear. It's okay. like a wrap that you need to wear around your waist and it reaches your ankles. That's mm. what I need to wear when I go to my grandmother's place because I'm supposed to be a conservative woman. But the men can go around wearing their shirts and no one will say anything. But all of a sudden, I need to change everything that I'm wearing yeah. because. If, to accommodate, to to accommodate to other people. We, now, we must accommodate men as a reverse. You are a Kisana. Mm-hmm. Women go through the most. Chini. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. In your daily interaction, how often do you uplift, support, speak highly of another woman? Very often. Honestly, I do a lot to the point where, like, in my hostel, I was told, but really, you need to calm down with the compliment. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you need to calm down. <laughs> I'm moderate, moderate with the uplifting. Yeah, yeah I'm also moderate, but I mainly do it for my friends. If that makes yeah, sense. definitely. Yeah. Like, friends. But in terms of like someone doing something nice on the street to like a stranger, like I do say, oh my gosh, you don't have the best thing. You must find the best thing. You must know how to do it. I will just you. tell like you the can. person that I'm walking with on you, I can't feel a CC or like something like that. But I won't go to that person as well. Oh, this looks nice. Here. But you know, know, I feel like for me, the thing is that you're not so far. I tell your friend that person looks good. Go and tell that person this because just good. imagine yourself. You yeah, have a bad day. Mm. And then someone comes someone in stranger. their head, they think, hey, that girl looks good today. But now they're not telling you, so you won't know. But imagine them telling you and how you would feel. Mm. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, true. Exactly. That's why it's important for us to do it. Yeah, really and tell people, like, compliment them. Give compliments when it's due. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely give compliments. I've seen some excellent, excellent people on this campus, guys. I go, sis, your hair, perfect. Your nails, perfect. Mm. Your clothes, perfect. I don't care what anyone said to you today. Yeah. You look perfect. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's more, more like um, conversation. So if someone engages... I uplift honestly. Like I had a conversation with Kelly last night. I think it was an entire two Ooh. hours or an hour. It was more than two hours. I hours. even missed my selfie. Oh my goodness! You <laughs> see, it was literally. Hard. I just. I think it's already in me. Like when I have a conversation with someone, as we also asked me that question at the time we were sitting here with hope and mm. da, 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 da. That's just me. Like mm. you know, just mm. so whenever you engage in a conversation with me. I automatically that thing just kicks in, just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it feels good. It does. 
Definitely. I even said, yo, I didn't know Kampa cares about me. <laughs> for real. Oh. For real. For real. For real. <laughs> like, you can have conversations with people and stuff, mm-hmm. but now you knocking on my door. Girl, I saw what you did. Literally, I, did, I, don't, I didn't get my lunch and she dinner didn't go for days. her dinner and for days and I'm like, where's this and, child? And I was locked in my room and I was and like, I tried to call her. Really cares. I literally tried to call her. I was like, yeah, I this child. Is... Hey, no, and I was going through the most. So, yeah, at least it was at the perfect time. Okay, if you were to work, if you were to go back five years from now, would you change anything with your personality, character, or behavior? Honestly. My behavior. I feel like, like, okay, guys, I let people walk all over me for the longest time. Dang. And I think that when I got to Stanford, I was like, you know what? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to do that ever again. I'm yeah. not going to do And I changed it. <laughs> they used to bully me eh? mm-hmm. with my setting. I, I even wanted to change my setting, guys. Brother. And people used to make gunshots. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, don't know. Guys, <laughs> like, 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 I was like, I, I'm so, think of everything. I'm so afraid to speak <laughs> to people because I felt that like once I speak to them and then mm. they're gonna realize that oh, her son is blah 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 blah. And yeah, yeah, I me. So I used to be so and I and, and like I used to live like in constant anxiety yeah. because yeah. like. I'm so scared that out of nowhere someone mm. is gonna make fun of me. You know what? Now I'm so done with the time now, the hair, time now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm if if you think that was for me, it was Chakala. I can imagine Chakala. Because I'm like, my surname is most Chakala. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the check, I'm like, oh, check, 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 Chakala. So I was like, at some point. I don't know. I just didn't care. I honestly didn't I, I care. wish I didn't care. I wish that I didn't live. Yeah. Didn't get to me that much. Yeah. That no guys here. I would just sit there and be quiet and just crossing my fingers that no one makes fun of me out of the group. Yo. I, that's just so, so strong. Mm-hmm. So and when I think back to five years ago, there's not really much I've changed. I think 16. Um, yeah, 16. No we man, we were 16 years old. Yeah. Maybe we're 15. I don't know. 16 or 15 years. But basically, I would just yeah, tell myself can. maybe to be more forgiving. Mm. Um, just like with other people who treated me wrong or behaved in a certain manner towards me. Because when I was 16, like I was just cutting people off. Like it didn't even matter if you looked at me wrong, gone. If you were saying mm. things, gone. Like I was just like, I don't need mm. this energy. But I would have told myself to just be a little bit more forgiving and see how that goes. But apart from that, everything else was beauty. Yeah. I, for me, honestly, I think it was holding a grudge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm very good at that, honestly. Like, I would remember that person did me this. Now you come here for my help. And I'd be like, <laughs> oh, I've been waiting. <laughs> you know? But then something in me always says, I just, just let it go. Yeah. Just yeah. let it go. Like it doesn't, it's not gonna give you money or mm-hmm. anything. It won't, it, it won't serve you, you know. So I was like, ah, me and grudges then back then. Five so definitely, ago. I would change that. Mm-hmm. If yeah. I had to go back, but grudges, I would change. <laughs> I wouldn't be so much into boys. Yeah, and if play with my mind. Hey, mm-hmm. they'll dribble your mind like a basketball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey. For me, I think, how old was I? I think I was 14. I'm 19 now. Yeah, 14. 19. 14. I think I changed the way I felt about myself. Mm-hmm. I always felt like I was so inadequate and I still had to, like, prove myself, I guess. And, mm-hmm. you know, so many girls just seemed to be, I guess, aging faster than I did. Like, girls were getting into makeup. I was a bit too late to that. I only got into the game when I was 17. So I always felt like I needed to up my game. I just felt like I wasn't mm-hmm. enough. There was more that I could have done. I just had such a low self-esteem. And I would tell myself, like, not to try so hard to fit in yeah. with the other girls and stuff. And, yeah, not to compare myself. I always had to compare, like, oh, gosh, like, she doesn't have any like me. Or, yeah, oh, my yeah, gosh, she's, like, got, she's got a big bum. Oh, my God, I've got no bum. She <laughs> got I got no boobs. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think when I was 14, I was still wearing, like, a training bra. Like, people were wearing bras. Like, I was really slow to... Yeah. Get to puberty, but like, yeah. I guess I'll change the way I view myself and compare myself, and mm. you know, mm. have a higher self-esteem. True. 
Okay, what is the worst quality of yourself or seen in another woman? Uh, I'd say the worst quality is fish, the love of gossiping, guys. Yeah. It's, it's bad. Like, honestly, it's something I've really had control over the years. So I'm just like, no, we're not going to gossip. We're not doing this anymore. We're not a gossip monger. We're just minding our own business. Yeah. <laughs> so I bet it worked. And then the people around me just came with that news, you know, that spice. And you just went I was right back when I started. <laughs> But um, it's something I definitely work on. I, I really live by mind your own business. Mm-hmm. So I mind my own business as much as I possibly can. But the temptation to become a gossip monger is <laughs> so strong. So yeah. strong. Become a journalist. <laughs> become a journalist. A reporter. Yeah. Honestly, for me, something that I've seen in another woman is um, a respect. A lot of us would downgrade ourselves or like lower our standards mm-hmm. for other people. You know, mm-hmm. it's all about not mm-hmm. knowing how much value you carry as an individual, mm-hmm. especially women. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. we can tolerate mm-hmm. anything when it comes to men. Guys, mm-hmm. you would lower your standards for a man. You a go man and think it confuses me. People are so quick to cut the things, but yeah, even they can't cut up the Exactly. Hand. You yeah. see. So I feel like I feel like we need to have that sense of respect for ourselves, mm-hmm. work on ourselves, guys. It is yeah. highly recommended. That is super true. And you will glow when you have that respect. Mm-hmm. Glow, Jane. I think, oh, <laughs> I think one thing I've noticed about myself that's bad is I'm very opinionated. I try to like, stop it but sometimes like an itch i can't stop mm. and like i just can't help myself but be opinionated sometimes mm. and that's a really bad trait like i don't voice my opinions all my, all the time but like i do find myself sometimes like secretly judging people and having opinions about is it more me. like your thoughts or yeah, do you like, like express it verbally no 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 i don't say it uh, i don't say okay. all my opinions to the person but to yeah. like Close, like really, really close, close friends. Those are the people mm. I usually confide in, and I'd be like, you know, I don't know where she gets off doing things like that. Like, mm. and I, you know, the thing is, I think the reason why I haven't stopped is that my opinions aren't far off. I'm always correct in my opinions. Yes, and I can. Always, always correct in my opinions. So it's like, should I stop it or should I continue? But <laughs> yeah, pray, mm. pray about it. Yeah. Come back with advice. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, like, like what, like a bad quality of myself, um, is also like, I don't forgive easily. Like, I mm. really don't forgive easily. Mm. And also, I don't forgive to the point where, like, people who forgive easily, they angry me. Like, how can you forgive that person after all of that? Yeah. So yeah, that also. Bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel. And sometimes forgetting too much. Yeah. Then you're trusting too much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Last question. Last question. What unique skill or ability can you share to another woman out there? Girl, I've got all the advice you want. I've been through life. I've seen life at this age. I've been at the highest. I've been at the lowest. I've seen it all. If you need advice and you want to speak to me, I'm here. Yeah, so where can they get a hold of you? <laughs> you know, email me at s i m e l w e z a k a y at gmail dot com. Yes, and I will reply. Um, basically, well, it's not a skill and ability, but uh, what I can say is something I've realized is women try and live their lives really, really quickly. Like they mm. just want to do things quickly, so they want to drink, they want to have a boyfriend, they want to smoke, they want to have sex, they want to do it like quick, 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 quick. Mm. And I was like, I would say slow it down, sis. You have time, mm. and even though you never know, you know your life might be near tomorrow, but just living like you have time will stop you from making so many irrational decisions mm. because trying to live life too fast usually doesn't turn out that great. Mm. But also don't live too slow. It's also boring. <laughs> have your own rhythm. Yeah, have a rhythm that works for you. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. For me personally, like an advice to all the women out there is literally to invest in yourself. There's nothing yes. more beautiful, sexier, gorgeous than having to invest in yourself. The goals that you want to achieve, 
write them down and start doing it. Like you've got your whole life ahead. Don't think of, okay, yeah, my friends have got boyfriends and they're marrying. What, what, what? Now you want to follow the train. Mm. Be the outlier. Mm. I love yeah. a woman that's an outlier. Be like, amen. You know, you guys, since you guys are going to the east, let me go now. J because I want to, you know? Mm. So start investing in yourself. The things that you've been dreaming since you were a kid, start and doing it. Go. Fly. Spread your wings and fly. Mm. If you believe in yourself, telling me. Mm. I, mm-hmm. You'll be doing it, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs>